Mágica, y ahora de repente se le quita Los persinados, acuérdate que yo era Let's meet the visiting team Well, Grant, we've seen the NBA evolve quite a bit since your playing days. How do you think you'd be used in today's game versus when you play? Well, B.A., with the spacing in today's game and my ability to slash to the rim, I think I would still be able to get to the basket, dominate in the mid-range, but I'd be shooting way more threes, and I would see more minutes playing as a small ball power forward as well. And a look at the starters for the Bulls. Levine is the two with DeRozan at the three. Williams at power forward with Vucevic at center. And it's Ball in at the one. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And the Hawks going from the Eastern Conference Finals to the eighth seed via play-in. A bit of a step backwards last year. Yeah. You know, growing as a young team has its ups and downs. Hawks know they can be better than the eighth seed. They now have an expectation of a playoff caliber ball club. What I appreciate about Patrick is that he plays his role well. Doesn't play outside of himself. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. And you know what, Trey Young? He almost embraces being the villain to other teams' fan bases. It's like he feeds off the fans heckling him on the road. And Grant, as you said with Young, he's been the villain in the playoffs more than a few times. The NBA. Players who can embrace that are good for the NBA. Trey Young has fun being a thorn as a visiting player, and he always backs it up with his play. Oh, just an easy reverse for him. He has nice feel and touch around the bucket. And it's Murray finishing it off. I just love Trey Young's feel for the game. Oftentimes, he can see the play develop before anyone else. Now here's Levine giving this team some energy, averaging a little over 10 points a game. The kick out to Williams. Ball against Young. Ball passes to Williams. Banked it in off the glass. This is why Lonzo Ball was drafted number two overall. Elite vision and size. First quarter and about a minute and a half in. The kick to Hunter from downtown. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Hunter. And for an idea of how the league is shaping up right now, take a look at these latest power rankings. You look at the Pacers, they slipped a bit. Still in the top ten, though. Well, right now for the Bulls, they've been extremely competitive. Maybe some ups and downs there, but it seemed like they were just figuring things out. they got to get that energy back. When operating in the pick and roll, Vooch knows how to use angles to free himself up. The Hawks have gone two of three from the floor. Pass to Okongwu. And here is Young. Here's Murray. He's covered by Levine. Here's Okongwu. Oh, and a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. With the explosive leaping ability, he's able to play center despite being undersized. DeRozan passes to Levine. DeRozan with the ball. Okongwu on it. Up top, Levine. Back to Vucevic. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Vucevic has gotten his third basket of the night. With his height, Vucevic a tough matchup inside for any defense. The drive by Murray. Chicago grabs the miss. Very surprising. He gets the ball where he wants it in a decent matchup. Levine finds DeRozan. Picked by Vucevic. DeRozan with the ball. Checked by Murray. And Vucevic slams it in. The big man, Nikola Vucevic. Strength and mobility. Booyah! The Hawks trailing. Outside Murray. Collins a screen. There's the three. Murray shot is good. Murray's got five. Rock solid screen right there. The defender got completely lost. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. And the Hawks going with a whole new group out there. Now here's White. Drummond to screen on Bogdanovich. White the pass to Drummond. Basket's good. I mean, some good stuff out here. Five of their last six buckets have come off of nice passes. For Atlanta, they've gone four of six in the first quarter. Outside Holiday. 
Pass to Graham. From outside the arc, Drummond grabs the miss. The Bulls have got all six shots to fall in the first. White, the pass to Drummond. And the jam by Drummond. Kobe White keeping his head up, shows great vision, and delivers a great pass. Atlanta's gone one for three from beyond the arc. Now Bogdanovich. And he makes it on the layup. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Wow, that's a defensive breakdown. Can't do that against good scores. Fantastic replay we just saw of the mobile one drive. Yeah, he made that drive look easy. But that had a high degree of difficulty. Now here's Green. Now quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first points of the game. Looking now at some numbers for Trey Young. First free throw is good. A nightly double-double machine. Andre Drummond gives you reliable production. No good on the second free throw. The Hawks have gone five of eight. Solid opening quarter for them. Bogdanovich finds Graham. Now here's Holiday. Nance outside. Six on the shot clock. Bogdanovich from long range. And that one makes him two for two. He's in his rhythm. A supremely accurate shooter. Bogdanovich knows his way around the arc so well. Drummond with the screen. It's White with the drive. Off target at the rim. A for effort, but when there's that much resistance at the rim, better find another option. Bogdanovich, no good. Drummond against Graham. Drummond passes to White. No good with the triple. Nikola Vucevic, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for the Bulls. Eight points in the quarter, showing how effective he can be. Time for a quick break, then back to the action. approach has been going here so far for the Bulls. Establishing a paint presence early in the game, it really helps and pays big dividends down the line because it frees up your perimeter. And from the jump, they've also clearly been focused on running effective plays here tonight. And there's been a lot of high-quality distribution from them on the floor. On the court right now, second quarter for the Bulls. They've got Nikola Vucevic. DeMar DeRozan is out there with Zach Levine. Then it's Ball, and it's Caruso in at the point guard position. Outside Hunter. Inside is a Kongwu. And the layup is good off the glass. When they get their opportunity to punch it inside, they don't hesitate. Chicago leading. The Rosen outside. Levine. And the dunk by Levine. Mr. DeMar is a magnet for defensive attention. You see the overreaction leading to a wide open man. The Rosen just keeps getting better. Incredible longevity. Started every game after his rookie season. Yep, that one goes. Terrific design and execution leading to an opportunity right at the rim. Here in the second quarter, a little over a minute of play, down low. And Levine with the basket on the assist by Vucevic. Levine's got his second bucket on the night. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. And Smitty talking about DeRozan, a key piece to this team, no doubt. You know, B.A., he just continues to improve his skill set. Already an elite score, now sharing the ball more than he has in his career. Also doing some dirty work on the boards, too. The Bulls making a switch here. Williams is checked in. Now here's Murray. He's got five. Back to Young. Nice move. And 
it's Atlanta scoring again. I mean, a premier shot maker. Young plays with a calm and a confidence that belies his age. Ball passes to Vucevic. That shot, no good. So Atlanta will take it the other way. Their last game, a win against the Magic. Looking to carry it into this one. And, and you know, some games, you're plagued by false starts and slow momentum. You could tell they were getting frustrated. But hey, a win is a win. Sometimes you're not going to play your best. So you have to just gut it out, right? Two minutes now played in the second quarter. Solid contest from Hunter, using his length to his advantage on the defensive end. Oh, the go-ahead bucket, no good. The Bulls have gone three of five since the beginning of the second. Here's Levine. Got it. Good job in the low post. Levine's got six here in the quarter. Shut out in the first quarter. He's heating up now. I like the aggressiveness. Outside Young. From deep. It's rebounded by Levine. And <laughs> just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Caruso. And he throws it down with one hand. The leaping ability of Caruso. Man, can this guy fly. Now a timeout called by Atlanta. And the players take this opportunity to get some Gatorade. Getting some fluids in you is so important during these timeouts. Get fresh. Keep those batteries charged. Yeah, without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a ball game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have to be hydrated. And there's contact and a whistle. So he's got two shots coming up, and they say to win big. Sometimes you have to sacrifice. Tell us exactly what that means, though, in basketball terms. Buddy. What it means, B.A., as a player, you might have to accept a more defined role. Most players grew up as the best player on their team. When you're on a contending team, sometimes you have to just star in your role. Holiday's checked in for the Hawks. I'll tell you, he doesn't give points away. Excellent job from the lines. Here's Kaminsky. And Kaminsky slams it home. Bo Devante is a natural-born scorer. He's developed into a solid playmaker as well. Green with a screen on Nets. Williams passes to Green. And he parries his first look. They're winning the battle down low by imposing their will. For Atlanta, they've gotten four of eight shots to drop in the second. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Bogdanovich passes to Kaminsky. On the wing, Green. Defended by Bogdanovich. Williams' shot is good. Beautiful location on the pass, as usual. Led his man perfectly. Holiday passes to Nance. And here's Bogdanovich. Left side, Graham. Over Dragic. Kept alive. And that makes him three for four. He's looking good. He is not known for his rebounding, but Bondanovich competes with great energy, and it pays off with those second-chance points. Now here's Williams. Five points in the game. Back to Drummond. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Frank Kaminsky picks one up here. That free throw no good. Chicago making some changes. DeRozan is checked in for Williams. And it's Desumu in for White. And no luck that time either. Dragic against Bogdanovich. Outside Holiday. Outside Bogdanovich. And he finishes. That makes him four out of five. A sneaky 6-6. Six -six. Bogdanovich can bang down low. Dragic against Holiday. Dragic passes to Drummond. Dragic outside. Pass to DeRozan. Takes a three. Can't hit that one. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. It's the Bulls up five. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half.
Greetings, Shaq, Kenny, and EJ here as we tip off the show with a look at our mid-season Eastern Conference standings. And taking a look at Atlanta, they've absolutely risen to the occasion this season. People were talking up their game early, and so far, they've delivered. Now it's time to finish strong, show no weakness. And how about that first half? Let's talk about Nikola Vucevic. He has been dialed in. He's really on a roll, isn't he? Once a guy gets in rhythm, it can be hard to shake him out of it. We'll see what the defense has planned for him in the second half. So far, it seems like they're just hoping he'll run out of steam. Not a great strategy if you ask anyone. And that is going to do it for us. Let's get back to some second half action with Brian Anderson and company. One. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one. Nikola Vucevic has been sensational. Can they come up with an answer for him coming out of the half? They have to change something defensively. I think both sides probably adjusted a few things. The key for him is to bring the same level of energy over these last two quarters. Young runs point with Murray at the two. Hunter is the three with Collins at the four. And it's a Kongwu in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. So that's who Nate McMillan starts the second half with. Here's a Kongwu following the bucket by the Bulls. There's Young with the three. And it's cleared by Vucevic. Vucevic has got a rebound number five here tonight. You know Zach Levine's never averaged fewer than double-digit points in his career. But he didn't get picked for the All-Star team until his seventh season. Now, here's Williams. He has seven. Down to five on the shot clock. Levine passes to Williams. Can't connect from short range. Offensively, that's how you want to end the possession, except for the result. You know, one area where Levine improved in his first All-Star season was efficiency, Smitty. You're correct. The scoring totals were always impressive, but his effective shooting percentage took a big jump up. Zach's playing the smartest basketball of his career. The Hawks trailing. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. Young from long range. He can't hit that time. And it's Chicago the other way. And after this game wraps up, they're off to New York to take on the Knicks. It's the last meeting in a four-game road trip. Outside Hunter. He shoots it. And that one's long. They just don't have it right now. 0 for 4. Must have been one poor speech at halftime. And it's DeRozan missing. For Atlanta, they've gone 0 for 4. Not the way they want to start the second half. Pass to Murray. Atlanta again missing. Ah, scoreless in their first five attempts since halftime. It's getting ugly. Williams, that drops. And it comes off an assist from Levine. Williams has got nine points. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. Outside Murray. Picked up by Kongwu. Looking to win the drought. Murray, shot is good. He has seven. A tough cover because Murray thrives in the pick and roll. He can beat you with the shot or the pass. White, he's checked in for Chicago. Caruso comes in for ball. The Bulls have gotten two of four shots to go since the break. Vucevic, a screen on Hunter. Levine passes to White. Young against Caruso. Pass to Vucevic. One of the most underrated players in the league. Vucevic can do just about everything offensively. It makes him so tough to guard. taking two shots. That one's off. So for the Hawks, Nance, he's checked in for a Kongwu. Bogdanovich comes in for Hunter. And Holiday subbed in for DeJounte Murray. Good on the second one. You gotta love what he brings to the table. Nikola Vucevic, not too shabby from the line either. He can shoot it. Young finds Bogdanovich. 
Simmons outside. No good on the triple. And they've just built this lead by attacking the boards. Here's Levine. And Levine throws it down. Good instincts from Nicola finding the open man. 157 left in the third quarter of the game. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Here's Holiday. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. And in terms of assist numbers, these are the players that have stood out over the past month. Third is Trey Young. His teammates trust that if they get open, he will find them. They're really in a groove right now. Kaminsky, he's checked in for Atlanta. Graham comes in for Trey Young. Holiday hits them both. 144 left in the third quarter. Levine. Levine with a screen on Nets. DeRozan passes to Levine. Yes, great play by DeRozan to set him up. DeRozan's got four assists in the game. Continuing to stoke the fire, his shot making has been absolutely superb. And we just had to see that mobile one drive one more time. Great stuff. Making an impact. I love the aggression. Playing on that front foot and looking to expand their lead. There's a minute 12 left in the third quarter. Levine can't hit. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. They get it back. Outside Holiday. Second chance effort. Pass to Kaminsky. And Kaminsky slams it home. And just a lack of fight right now on the defensive end. Right? At least on that slam it was. That's one way to let a team back in the game. Yeah, defensively, your mantra at this point has to be no easy buckets. What about Caruso? He's not a stat stuff for Smitty, but he does everything. No doubt about that, B.A. Not flashy on the court, but at the end of the night, he's done a little bit of everything. The ultimate floor general. The first one falls. I like how Alex Caruso gives his team an instant energy boost out on the floor. He's always working overtime. And the Hawks making a change here. Okongwu's checked in. Now here's Graham. Looking for his first basket still in this one. The three is up. Kept alive by Atlanta. Here's Okongwu. And that one is hammered home. And that's why you don't give up on the glass. Man, his efforts well rewarded right there. Working hard, beating everyone to the ball. He does this night in and night out. Atlanta's got nothing to fall here in the third. 0 for 4. To the middle. Pass to Bogdanovich. From deep three-point range. He can't get it to go. White on the wing. He got it up. He got it up in time, but it would not fall for him. And so it's Chicago, finishing the quarter with an eight-point lead. Great shot selection right now, keeping the game simple and getting high percentage looks. We'll be back in a moment. Take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. Now, I know he's a big man, but he's got some point guard in him if he's making passes like this. Let me tell you, when you can run offense through your bigs, you give the defense just another thing it has to try and take away. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth quarter. And so in the game for the Bulls, Patrick Williams out there with Andre Drummond. Then there's Desumu, then it's Ball, and it's Green in at the three slot. Murray, shot is good. Finding a soft spot in the belly of that defense. Murray taking full advantage. And Williams punches it home. Oh, not the defensive effort they need to cut into the lead. Boy, good call. You have to at least try to protect the rim. Also, if you can't get stops at this point, it really doesn't matter what you do at the offensive end. And Young gets it to go. And he finally gets involved from beyond the arc. His first three of the game comes here in the second quarter. Here's the 
Sumu, defended by Murray. Oh, he powers right through the defender for the dunk. Draws the foul, too. And he'll go to the line. They'll pin that one on John Collins. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Bulls. It's just a passing clinic from them in this game. Solid communication and unselfish play all around. And also the number of points they've scored in the paint has been impressive. This coaching staff encouraging them to keep going inside. One of the best young lob men in the business, John Collins, finished with an explanation point. Chicago leading on the wing to Rosen. Drummond, the screen on Hunter. Here's DeRozan. And the dunk by DeRozan. Hey, when in doubt, run the defender off the screen. And you know, with a result like that, we'll see them run it again. Especially if the defense is going to allow you to do it. Have to switch on that play. And the Hawks with possession here. Following the bucket by the Bulls. And here's Collins for three. That one's good. And it's Young with the assist. Young's got three assists now in this one. The more Collins hits this shot, the more valuable he becomes to this offense. DeRozan right side. Back to ball. Williams up top. Collins defending. Here's DeRozan. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. And the Bulls lead by seven. So it's Atlanta now. They host the Pistons after this one. That'll be the end of a three-game homestand. Collins with a screen on ball. There's Young with the three. They kick it out to Murray. Picked up by a Kongwu. Takes the three. And it's Murray with the three. Murray's got five points now this quarter. <laughs> Collecting plenty of second-chance points this half. That alone can keep a team in a game. And the Bulls call time here. Some changes for Chicago. Vucevic comes in for Drummond. And it's Levine in for DeSumo. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Ali. Hey, guys. Billy Donovan was just reviewing the plan with his team. He told his squad to pour on the gas, saying, quote, we hold the lead. Let's keep growing it. Be aggressive. This is no time to let up. Thanks for that, Ali. Vucevic. Now, to me, this is where DeRozan has really developed, Being able to make plays for his teammates. Atlanta's gotten three threes to fall out of four attempts here in the fourth. Here's Young. The kick to Hunter. Pass to Murray. Right side, Young. Five on the clock. Second shot opportunity. Murray, no good. For Chicago, they've gotten off to a perfect five for five so far in the fourth. Ball outside. Fourth quarter keeps moving along. Three minutes gone by now. They get it again. The kick out to Williams. On the wing, DeRozan. Williams with the screen. DeRozan passes to Vucevic. And Williams gets the bucket on the assist by Vucevic. Patrick Williams putting all the skills on display here. Young attacking over ball. Young misses. They can take their time if they want. Yes, you have to regroup. Make sure you get a good shot. Williams with the screen. Here's Levine. Williams' shot is good. And now it's a 10-point Chicago lead. Up in his playmaking skills, when Levine notices an open teammate, he whips the pass over. And he's going for the oop here. Vucevic with a steal. Williams on the wing, defended by Murray. The three from DeRozan. Rebound Atlanta. Young with it. And there's the call on Lonzo Ball. That's foul number two for him. Atlanta calls timeout. They trail by 10. 102 left in the fourth quarter. One minute left in the fourth quarter here. Pass to Okongwu. Shot clock at six. 
Here's Hunter. Let's go with a three. Oh, it's blocked by Levine. You see the quickness and focus of Levine. Tracks the shot, shuts it down. Both teams will make substitutions. Well, Grant, this game looks just about over. B.A., all they really need to do is just work that clock, don't turn it over, and this game is a wrap. Here's the sumo. The kick out to Williams. Dragic outside. And it's Larry Nance with a foul. That's foul number two for him. Team seconds. On defense, the Hawks. Trailing by 10. The Bulls with another miss. At this point, it just feels like it's over. They couldn't make enough plays when it mattered. Interesting game, though, in terms of some of the matchups. They are unconscious from outside. And so far, the defense has had no answer. You know what? They talked about this at halftime. And they're doing a better job of creating space. Over to the wing. Nance for three. That shot off. This one belongs to Chicago. It ends up being a fairly easy road win. Those are so hard to come by. It's never easy to take a game in someone else's building. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? All right, thank you so much. Vooch, it's got to feel great to just get a win. How important was this one? That was very important for us. Uh, we had uh, you know, quite a bit of a rough stretch lately. A uh, lot of losing, and uh, it's not easy to deal with it, you know. But uh, tonight we came out, we got it done, and that's all that matters. You know, sometimes we need a game like this to kind of get going. Uh, it was a big win for us. We needed to add one more to the winning column. So big for us, I think, helps with our confidence. So that was good for everybody. It's great to know if you keep your head down, it'll pay off. Thanks so much, Vooch. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. And that about wraps it up for Steve Smith, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill. This is Brian Anderson. Thanks for being with us. Now, New Balance presents the player of the game.